first from Gasoline Alley, your Shade Tree mechanics, Vito and Guido Andretti. And their opponents from Hall Collar, Kentucky, Jabadiah Blackhawk and Cousin Otter. I tell you what, wrestling fans, the wrestling world is talking about Vito Andretti and Andretti Express along with his partner Guido. He just made an appearance on the Fox 41 Morning News, made a little bit of a challenge to Kevin Raymer, and uh, which went unanswered, I might add. But this will be a big win for them to be able to beat the pig farmers right here on TV today, get back in title contention. Kevin Raymer may have conjured up this big thunderstorm we got here tonight. Well, he may have. He did everything but show up, I'll tell you oh, that. I, I well, he probably had more pressing things to do, like a light or something, you know? Oh, man, to take it in, Cousin Otter. Jebediah and Cousin Otter have become just fan favorites out here ever since they started. Oh, and a double hawk holler close And what it was was a double team, team a double team across the ten. Now Guido's going to have to come in and settle up with Fat Boy, teach him the what for, and then get everything back on track here. That, and Otter does decide that he don't want to go for the ride across like the trying ring. to move a full dumpster. Come on. Oh, oh, and he gets reversed on Guido and a bit of a splash. He smells a lot like a dumpster, too. I don't know if you've noticed. Working on the headlock. Comes over to tag in Jebediah, and here comes in your other favorite. Yeah, pick farmer number two. He's really my favorite. Here he is in there. Uh, look at there. Did you see him pull the hair as he locked that headlock on to make sure that he had oh, a tight oh, one? Oh, I trust you saw that. No, my crown got in the way. What happened? Oh, Vito with the foot in the back. You saw it. You know you I saw it. I did not. My crown blew in front of me, and I didn't see what happened. All I see is that Vito's taking over. Look at that. We get that monstrosity of a <laughs> crown out of the way. We can see some That's things. That's a gorgeous crown. Here. Shut up. Admire it. The double ride right across the ring. Double Elbow, I guess and so. a greasy elbow! Greasy time, you got that right. <laughs> I think it's about over, Dean. I think this pig farmer, whoa! I think it's about the end for pig farmer number two. I think you call him Jebediah. Man, you hear the rumbling outside. Everyone's excited about the action here in the OVW, even big the man rumble. on the top. I think, the, I think wow. the man above knows big things are happening in OVW. Oh my goodness, and here comes Vito. Comes in, grabs matter, of, matter of fact, I've heard from the Pirates above that they love the Andretti Express up there. Well, maybe they'll go up there for a personal match real soon. We'll keep our fingers crossed. No, uh, not anytime soon. Everybody. Not anytime soon. Guido in right now, working on Jebediah. Pulls him up by the ear. What a walk through the park. What else would you do with a pig but grab it by the ears? Look at look at the way they have run over. It ain't been long ago. These boys were the tag team champions, and Vito and Guido are just beating the stew out of them. Oh, dropping his half of the greasy elbow was Guido Andretti on Jebediah Blackhawk. Do you hear the crowd Whoa. go, Hawk, go? If Frisco had a decent bone in his body, he'd stop this match and get the pig farmers out of here. Here comes Otter. The clothesline as well. Along with throwing two fists since he got in the ring, both which are illegal, he should have disqualified Well, him. he's got one at each arm. It seems like the logical thing to do. Oh, big backdrop for Guido, and he's feeling that one yeah, in the you're back. You're always shot. talking about the right way, but the minute the pig farmers or somebody starts breaking a rule, you seem to have a, a okay feeling with that. Look out. Oh, Vito has to break the hold. He didn't have to, but it's a good thing he did. Well, if he didn't, he'd be on his way back to the locker room right now instead of just back to ringside. Oh, oh, he's grabbed the wrenches. Look, Where? he has grabbed Where? the wrenches. I can't oh, see, a see him. Look at the size of them. Wow, wow, wow. Here's Juan Atano. Here's Rob Steele. Rico doesn't see what's happening. His back is turned. They, oh, goodness, they've run, they've run out, Vito and Guido. They've run them out. Good job, Nick. A good job. Rob, hold it. Rico's calling for the bell. Hold it, Robert. They, oh, he's disqualifying Jeb and I and Cousin Otter. Oh, of course they should. Look at this. They had a run. They had a help from the dressing room. They're holding their wrenches. No, no, Briscoe just didn't see what happened. Juan Otto and Rod Steele actually saved Jeb and I and Cousin Otter from getting a brain drain. Briscoe saw what happened. He saw these two goofs in the ring holding oh, their wrenches. Oh, my goodness. And these three guys, these three teams, I should say, are going to meet in a triangle tag match. Yeah, there's six tonight. guys. There's six guys. Three teams. Oh, he just closed line to Pig Farmer. Oh, look at this. Oh, my ah. goodness. Just like in the match, Vito Otter. and Guido were making fools out of him. Otter didn't want to hit one, I tell you right now. You better he think twice. Juan Otto, and Juan isn't going to take it lightly and then going to No, he's not. <laughs>